Hello everyone, Nikhil this side from Coding Beam. So in this video, we are going to install the MongoDB on the Windows operating system. So we will be installing the MongoDB Community Edition, which is a free version. So we will be directly going ahead to the MongoDB.com, which is the official site to download and to see the MongoDB. So there we can go to the software and then we can select the community server. And if you are developing the enterprise level application, then you have to download the enterprise server and then pay for it. But we will be downloading the community server here. So we will be selecting the community server and then we will be clicking on it. So then you will be seeing a MongoDB community server drop down here. So we will be clicking on it and there you will be selecting the current version, which is the 5.0.2 and then we will be clicking on the download option here. And guys, in my case, it is already downloaded. So I will directly open it from here. So I will click here on it. So it will be showing me the installation wizard in a moment. So it will be showing me the installation wizard here. So we have to wait till it shows. So now you can see the installation wizard is here. So I will click, click on the here, the next. So these are the terms and conditions and we have to accept the agreement and then we have to click on the next. Then we have to select the complete here because we want the complete installation for, for the MongoDB with all of its components. So we'll be clicking on the complete. And now here we have to click there the install MongoD as a sub service because we need to, we need the MongoDB, MongoD to install as a Windows services so that we don't need to reopen the server again, again, again and again to use the MongoDB. So now the data directory will be C program files, then MongoDB, then server, then five, then data. And the log log directory will, will be same as like, like the server, then the 5.0, then log. So then we will be clicking on the next. And then we have to check, check the install MongoDB compass also because we need the compass also. Then we'll be clicking on the next. And then the installation will, will begin when we start the install here. So we'll start the install. So then you will see the windows pop up, then you have to say yes to it. So then we need to wait. So guys, now you can see the installation has been completed. So we will be directly clicking on the finish. So now you will see this is the connection string of our MongoDB. And now we will be directly connecting. So if you will connect here with that, so then you will see the local host at the rate 27017, which is the default server for the MongoDB. So we will now creating a new database here with it. I will click on the create database. So we will create a Mongo DB. So I will click on the Mongo DB and the collection name will be the first or oh, like sam sample. It will be the sample. So it will be the sample. So we will creating a new database here. Just click on the create. So now it will be created in a moment. So we have to wait. So now you will see the Mongo DB is here. So we will click on it. So then you will see the sample also here. So this, this is a collection. So we have to open this. So now we can add or remove the data from it. And we can also import the data from the CSV file or the JSON file. So now the installation of the MongoDB and the set setups of the MongoDB has been completed. So, so thank you guys for watching the video and I hope you will like the video. And guys, if you are facing any issues while installing the mongodb then you can ping us in the comments so we'll be helping out you with that so thank you guys for watching the video and please subscribe to our channel for more upcoming tutorials on the mongodb thank you